How is the person on your mind feeling about you? Let's find out. Learn their, their thoughts about you, that's for sure. I'm trying to decide between you and something else, someone else. Not saying a peep about it. They're in their own mind, mulling over some sort of answer. Trying to be intuitive with them, themselves, trying to check in with their their heart and then cups there's a person talking about you the hangman this is really giving me like caught up in their <laughs> you got them caught up on you <laughs> you got them caught up I feel like, okay. yeah, this person is feeling very enamored. Um, there is some sort of connection, but they're really stuck. You might be having them, having them question what they really want. They might be in another relationship and they're choosing between you and another person. They're not sure. They're also not saying a word. This is all going on inside because why would they disclose this? Um, but they're in a Knight of Cups energy with you. So it's, they're, they're into you, you know? The Knight of Cups is someone that is heavily invested, I would say, you know, um, he's not the king, but he's close to it, you know, um, um, he's regal, and, um, he might not know everything, he might be a little bit less mature, or a little bit younger than, you know, an adult man, maybe he's a young adult, um, but he's in his feelings with for you, um, and now he's trying to check in with himself to see what he really wants in life, who he really wants, what kind of person he really wants. He's really trying to check into his own intuition. What does his gut tell him? You know, like he's feeling this love, but at the same time, now he's questioning it. Like, how is this possible? What do I do with this? Is this a fleeting feeling. Is this something real? I don't really know. Um, again, with the King of Swords, it's kind of like, the King of Swords in the Moon is kind of just giving me, I'm not saying a word, I'm playing the smart until I know for sure. And that's smart to do. He's being smart about it still. He's not a fool. Um, but he's definitely caught up on you, the Hangman. The Hangman and the Two of Swords. It's just being like, I don't know what the F to do here. <laughs> Maybe you surprised this person out of nowhere. Um, they weren't expecting to meet someone like you. Seven of Wands. They might think that you have a lot of comp, or they might have to have, they're in a lot of competition over you. There's a lot of Wands directed at you. And he is aware of that. And he's also thinking about the thing is, is that when people, when sometimes men are almost intimidated to be with a very attractive woman because they know that other men are going to always advance themselves towards them, but that's not always the case. I mean, that, in a sense, yes, but not really because it's up to the woman to have boundaries and know how to handle herself in different situations. Sometimes you can't control how people come up to you, but at the same time, it doesn't happen as much or as often as men think it that it might. Um, if you allow it to happen and you're open to being flirty and free and you're single and you're putting out that energy of, you know, I'm free here, 
um, I feel like you open up the conversations with men a little bit more. But this person is looking at you and they're very caught up with you and they're in their feelings of, you know, with you with the Nine of Cups. But they also are, are aware that you have competition and they're just thinking about that. Temperance comes out. Again, it's about just waiting, thinking, trying to figure this out. Don't really know for sure what to do here. I mean, this is new to me. I don't really know what the best, you know, kind of action is here. Whoa. But, as you can see, they're in the devil kind of energy with you. Like, you have them caught up on you. They are... Let's just say that they're attracted to you and you, you can figure it out in every other way of how that might be. They think you're on their mind a lot. The devil energy is about kind of obsession. Um, so they are a little bit, they're not like heavily obsessed, but they're just a little obsessed in a really good, healthy way, in the Knight of Cups kind of way. Um, the Knight of Cups is about love, remember? You know, Amory, just lovey, dovey feelings, romanticism. Um, so with, caught up with the devil, the Knight of Cups and the devil walk into a bar together, <laughs> um, you know, they're going to rub off on each other. So it's, it's about love. It's nothing drastic or addiction oriented, but there's a little bit of obsession because you're in love or it's the beginning stages of f being in love when you meet someone for the first time and then you become a little bit obsessed because they're different and you like them. Um, you want to talk to them, you want to see them. But at the same time, this person feels torn and they're not saying a word about it. They're trying to figure it out in their head, be smart about it. Don't let their <clears throat> pants get caught in a bunch. I don't know, my throat just got dry for some reason, I'm not sure. But, um, they don't know what to say, maybe, to you. They don't even know what to do here. I'm just get, I'm getting a feeling of like confusion. They're like pun. They're like they're in this like <laughs> like almost. I, feel, I see like a cartoon, like an old school Looney Tunes cartoon. If you're that old, um, where someone would you know hit their head on the wall and then they'd see like little stars floating around their heads or birds, you know, um, meaning that they're kind of like dizzy. That's kind of what I'm feeling here, like they're a little dizzy for you. Um, and they don't know what to do, but they're smart. So they're trying to figure out what is going on, first of all, how they feel about it, second of all, and then um, what to do here, you know? Um, yeah. So what I was saying with the Two of Swords and like this heavy decision, now we have the Three of Swords, so. This is about another, a third party. This person is involved. This person is already involved. And now that you've come into the picture and now you kind of occupy, occupy space in their head um, and their heart and their pants. Um, now they're confused because they're in a relationship and now they don't know what to do. What is the right thing to do? I'm a good person. Um, I'm a responsible person. I'm a, a good hearted person. What's the right thing to do here? I have a crush on someone and I'm in a relationship. What do I do? They're in a hand to man. They're just, they, they're stuck. They feel stuck. And they're kind of like, well, is it even a good move? This person has so much, com you know, I, I would have to comp not compete, but like kind of like hold back all these other wands. Like, is it even worth it? They think it is, though, because in, in reality, inside, they're feeling enthralled by you. And it's weird because if you are in a relationship, have you ever had a crush on someone else while you are in a relationship? It doesn't really take away from the other person. But then you have to question yourself on why you have such strong feelings for somebody else. Um, is it? It's natural, you know, that there's more than one person out there for everyone. But you have to question yourself if you are a little obsessed with someone else. 
it's unfair to everyone involved. 10.01 on the clock. Um, you have to question that. You have to figure out what's going on. Is it the relationship that you're in that's bad? Is it you that's kind of unrealistic? Um, is it this other person that actually is a good match for you? Is it just sexual? Is it just a dream and not rea realistic to be with this person? You have to think about all the things. And I think that person is kind of in that stage of trying to think about all the things. What else is this person thinking about you? How is this person thinking about you? They feel like they'll have to walk away from what they know. And that's scary for anyone. Especially if you've been with someone for many years, even a couple of years, even a couple of months. It just it depends on how fast you get involved um, or attached to somebody. But when you break up, even if you feel like the breakup is worth the breakup, it's still this weird phase of breaking down the life that you once had, all the routines that you had together, all the little things on a daily basis that you would do for one another or expect, you know, or just help one another out, whatever it was, it all comes crashing down and you start over with a clean slate when you start in a new relationship. This person needs, knows that they're going to have to turn their back on a lot here. There's going to be some heartache involved here. There's going to be a lot of other feelings, you know, that's why they're keeping it inside. They don't really know yet what to do. Um, but they know that if they do come towards you and they choose you over their past, the future or the past, um, there's going to be heartbreak no matter which way they turn. Either they stay in their relationship, they become heartbroken because they might have more feelings towards you. Or they realize that they have more feelings towards you and then they, you know, the other person that they're with currently gets their heart broken. <sighs> Which is a hard decision because it's not fun for anybody. Even if you care about the other person and you just know that it's not gonna work out uh, long term, it's heartbreaking no matter what. It's really hard to do, to communicate what you need as a person and also see a person that you care about is feeling hurt over you, you know? But you have to take into account what you really truly want in your heart, what you truly want in your life. And sometimes hard decisions need to be made to get, you know, the right result for you. You just have to be true to what you truly are looking for and what you truly want. And is this person worth it or not? Is this person the right fit for you? Well, you know, are you going to feel happy at the end of your life? King of Cups. The Two of Cups. And also the Nine of Swords pops out. As you can see, this person is in their feelings for you. They think that you actually might be the match for them, like for real. And that's why they're in this Nine of Swords, anxiety, Two of Swords, hangman kind of feeling of, oh shit, now I'm faced with a dream come true, but at the same time, I'm faced with some really hard decisions to make. Choosing who to be with is 14, 14 on the clock is a very, it, it's, it's devastating sometimes because heartache is inevitable at certain times. Sometimes you have to look on the bright side of things because if you break up with someone, say, and you realize that you have to break up with somebody else because you just know in your heart that this person is not the right person for you long term. You care about them and you care about their feelings though. It's heartbreaking to break up with them. It's heartbreaking to communicate to them. It's heartbreaking to say what's really on your mind. But, you know, after a few months, this person is going to move on. Even after a year, this person will move on. And they'll get their life back in the order. 
and they'll kind of move on with their lives, you know? And all your anxiety about what could happen to them or like hurting their feelings so much, um, you'll realize that they'll move on usually faster than what you expect. And even if they don't, someone else out there will be better for them because you know that they're not for you. You know, like staying with someone because you, you feel bad for them is a, a, a bad move um, for everyone. You know, everyone's wasting their time that way. Um, you can't be with someone out of pity. This person is has a lot of anxious feelings about this. You know, the Knight of Swords, the Moon, the Hangman. They're, it's like almost like good and bad energy for them. They're like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I found like someone that really activates my Two of Cups, like my counterpart, you know, the love, my, my heart is right here. I'm seeing a mirror of myself in this person. Um, I really am into this person. Um, I can get down with, this, I can, I can pour into this person. I'm almost borderline obsessed, addicted already. You know, Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups. You know, how they feel about you is one way and how they feel about what to do about it is in a whole nother way. The King of Cups, remember, it comes out too. So their love is growing for you. The King of Cups and the Two of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Devil. They think of you in a very, very loving way. I mean, like, if they could paint a picture of the perfect person, you would be it. Y you know? Um, they have been dreaming about you. Or someone, you know, meeting someone like you for quite some time. So they were already, they just decided to be in a relationship like most people do right out of college. You know, or right away, this person kind of just, like, makes a split second decision on me like oh well everyone's linking up all right well i'll just choose this person you know like no one really knows what they're getting into um and now they're realizing after they met you that you are actually activating something in their heart that they haven't really felt yet they thought that they felt something close to it which you know is bonding and you know, coupling and, you know, being with someone, but they weren't fully invested. They didn't fully feel like this person was everything that they could ever hope for. They're a good person, but they're just not the right fit. And once they met you, they realized what the right fit felt like. Now their heart is beating a lot faster. And inside, they're just like head over heels for you. Um, but, on, you know, also on the inside, they realize that what they need to do now and what hearts need to break what, what who they have to leave behind um and if is it is it really worth it what do i do here do i go for my heart do i go for staying in my relationship and just never speaking about it feeling anxious you know hurting someone's feelings that's what this person is feeling Let's just pull an oracle real quick. <laughs> interesting. It says natural instincts, you know which way to fly. Which is interesting. I think this person knows which way that they want to fly. I think also they're just really nervous that they know that there's going to be some hard times here. And they also know that there's going to be some heartache involved. So that could stagnate anybody into not doing anything. But the Oracle is saying they know which way to fly and they know which way they want to fly. And that's towards you. 